Well, we are just a few weeks out from an extremely important election day. Certainly the presidential election is going to have enormous consequences on our country. I'm Tim Wildman with Walker Wildman. This is Reason and Company. Walker, um, it's hard to overstate the consequential, if that's mm-hmm. the right word, nature of the upcoming election. Yeah, that's right. So we've got the presidency. Obviously, that's the one kind of flashing headlines is the presidential race between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President uh, Donald Trump. Uh, But then there's the Senate, the U.S. Senate, the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, Then you have governorships, um, you know, different state level offices and even down to mayor, of course. So a lot of elections up and down the ballot. The presidential race is the one getting the most headlines. But a lot's going to be determined on November 5th. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, like you said, the presidential election is getting all the attention and it's worth it. I mean, it's it's understandable. Mm -hmm. But the Senate and the House... They basically control the legislative agenda. It yeah. doesn't matter who the president is. Yeah, that's right. For example, President Trump, should he get reelected, he's going to need a favorable uh, right. congressional delegation. Right. He's going to need a favorable Senate so he can right. get through judges, some legislation, very little legislation. But yeah. nonetheless, um, a lot's going to be determined uh, by um, by November 5th. And President Trump, uh, he needs, I would argue, that it's more consequential for him He's going to need the Senate and the House to work with him. Yeah. Listen, folks, it's imperative that you get all your friends and family and neighbors to vote on November 5th, right? Mm -hmm. November the 5th. Because I I see the numbers, you see the numbers, uh, how low the participation is oftentimes of the Christian community in actually going to the polls and voting. So we don't need that to happen this time. We need Christians to go out and vote for constitutional conservatives uh, across the board, local, state, and certainly national. So thanks for joining us on Reason and Company, and vote, vote, vote. We'll see you next time.